This episode of Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by WWEshop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. You can get something sweet like this uh, Santino Cobra Sock Puppet. It doesn't need to be for your hand. Naughty. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Promoter Phil Zacco has lined up a great evening of professional wrestling for Wednesday night, April 23rd. For the nation's number one challenger, Killer Kowalski, the methodical monster wrestles Bruno Sammartino, the wrestling champion of the world. A title bout, Sammartino against Kowalski in a one-fall match to a definite finish. As a special attraction, a six-man tag ride with a two-hour time limit, three out of five falls. It will be Bulldog Brower, Duke Savage, and Crazy Luke Graham against Dominic DiNucci, Victor Rivera, and Haystacks Calhoun. Three out of five falls, two-hour time limit. Brower, Savage, and Graham against DiNucci, Rivera, and Haystacks Calhoun. The world-famous midgets, along with Professor Tanaka, Baron Cicluna, and other super heavyweights have been signed for Wednesday night, April 23rd. Advanced tickets on sale at the Civic Center. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's 285 is the episode. I am the sword, the master of ceremonies <laughs> for the mayhem. And stop laughing! Stop <laughs> laughing! Ah! We got the fine crew with us tonight from the a cave playing a video game. You know we can see your controller this week. It's DJ Lunchbox. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> On the couch is Chachi. Hi hey guys. Hey Lunchbox. Yo. Hey, uh if you were in the market for a customized video game controller, you can go over to Chachi says.net and click on that handy dandy link for evilcontrollers.com. You can also click on one at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. No. No. <laughs> no. Battle and advertising. Yeah, you can go over there and uh Click on the link for evilcontrollers.com and customize your own Xbox 360 controller. Fascinating. Yes. I might have to uh, not do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If it was, if, if, is it only 360 controllers that they customize? I think PlayStation 3 as well. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. All right, then, maybe. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And also from uh, San Antonio. He's from yes. San Antonio you gotta, now. You gotta, oh, no more that little space intro, space. my friend. That's right. From the dorm room in San Antonio, Texas, where oh, all the magic this. doesn't happen, WrestleFan. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Mayhem Show crew? It is me, WrestleFan. I'm here from inside my new cave um, where I hide my bitches. So, yeah. You, really, you really need to put up some posters or something on that wall behind you. It's so plain. Although it's great it for your, you know, although it's great for your video compression. So actually, don't change it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Acceptable. Acceptable. And great from Flood City, Johnstown, PA is no, bottom. no, no. What? I mean, I no, mean, and that is obviously, no. hey, you know, we put on some muscle. But yes. Mad Mike is with us from the Bronx, New York. I got a new move set. <laughs> with, some, with some more muscle and a new move set, it's Matt. It's Mad Mike. How how you doing, Mad Mike? I'm 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 not Mad Mike. Ah, oh, oh, kayfabe. That's K-fabe. it. That's K-fabe. it. K-fabe. I ripped the mask off. Kayfabe, you know is you know this what? you turning heel? Did you just turn heel on us? <laughs> Did you just it, kayfabe? Did you just turn heel on Daniel Daniel Bryan on us? I can't even get it out. Hey, you know what? I can't even get it out. You know what? Back. I think someone just failed the wellness policy. That's right. I think oh, you did. No. Did somebody just I'm get? Just well, no. You just crossed D. Brian, <laughs> my boy D. Brian. Where are you? You got burned. You know how much I got paid at WrestleMania? You know how much I got paid at WrestleMania? Loud <laughs> noises. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be more loud noises because this is your Wrestling Mayhem show for the week. You can check us out more episodes and other information going on at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dot com. Follow us on the Twitters at Mayhem Show. I'm holding a random Star Trek character for no reason at all. Um, what the hell did I do to my Google Doc? Um, Star wow. Trek. Stop. I reformatted and I, I forgot where everything goes. Oh, hey, you guys can contact us at Good Times. Good Times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can call us on your phone. 
with your rotary dial at 412-206-WMS0 or 412-206-9670. Please keep them short, succinct, under 30 seconds. We cannot <laughs> go three minutes on a voicemail. We will not use a three-minute voicemail. If we you will send, not. But if you want to send personal messages, as some of you do, go ahead and, and use as much time as you can up to three minutes because Google Voice will cut you off. Um, what else <laughs> we got going on? You can catch us on Blip TV. You can catch us on YouTube.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show Media Fly. We are now on Stitcher. You can listen to us on your iPhone, Android phone, BlackBerry, and even WebO. S phone. I'm sorry if that's what you have. Uh, but uh, Stitcher is a pretty easy app. We just got all the Sorgatron Media audio shows added to it. So go on there and check it out. Stick Stitcher.com. Hey guys, did you know we have t-shirts? Not the, oh, yeah, t shirts. Hey yo, we got links to uh hey yo. I just had a Scott Hall moment there. Hey oh, yo. That's what Scott I get. That, yeah, wrestling fan, that's what you get for sending me ECW Scott Hall clips. Um <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, we got spread shirt links over at, uh, wrestlingmayhemshow.com, uh, for some mayhem wear, some of our shirts so you can sport the mayhem. We also have the handy dandy iPhone app. I don't know where my iPhone is. It's $1.99 in your app store for the iPhone, the Android market, or the Amazon app store as well. Go check that out. It's your direct link to the show. It's exclusive content. For uh, before and after the show, we got some some of our voicemails we covered there. Some of the longer ones we had some fun with today. So go check that out. Just once in a while, we run some contests on there as well. Hey, we got stickers. Chashi, show off the stickers. Nope. Stuff, what? What? <laughs> I said no. Ooh. Go go check out the stickers. 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 Yeah, you got the stickers. Yes, we got plenty of them. I'm making it rain, bitches. I'm not actually going to throw them because I'll have to pick it up. Yes, but. you will. <laughs> uh, but you can send a uh, yeah, stickers care of. Sorgatron Media, 1535 Belasco Avenue. No, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh, PA, 15216. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope. We will fill that thing with stickers as much as the Postal Service will allow us. Um, For the price of a sticker, uh, the stamp. Yes. No, the stickers <laughs> can't be traded for stamps. Uh, so, so let's get right into it. Chachi, you got something? What's, um, up? What's wrong? Well, we got a couple things to cover. We do? Yes. Um, but I can't find the toy. Oh, no. no, not that toy. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have toy. a contest winner. Yeah, we have a contest oh, yeah. winner. And that's oh, this, okay, it's over there. That's this toy yes. right here. I, yes, I, yes. And he's <laughs> in the chat room, and he did not respond to my email. Yes. Um, um, please, the there's actually several people that we owe prizes to that have not responded to my emails. Yes. Both. both so, I don't think I... It, so, go ahead and... Uh, Ill Nades, if you could Ill respond Nades. to the email... And we need a physical address to yes. send this to you. Unless you live in Pittsburgh, and then I'll drive to your house. Yes. Um, it, you send it. You send it from your girlfriend's account or your wife's account. What? Uh, I'm talking yeah, to yeah, the yeah. guy in the chat room. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Just uh, send us your address and everything, so I can send you this awesome camo X Pac figure. Yes. And uh, hey, if you're listening from the Baltimore Comic Con, check your mailbox. I emailed three people with prizes, and uh, I've yet to hear back. I don't know what's going on. We have prizes. We want to get rid of these things. Please. Okay. Well, if Elnades, if you didn't receive the email, you won. Yay! <laughs> this is your notice. This is your notice. Hit us back, and uh, and we're going to keep doing this. We'll, we'll perfect this contest concept, yes. I swear. Well, it's um, not our fault. It's, it's, I don't know. Maybe it is our fault. I don't think it is. <laughs> we don't. No, I, okay. I, I, it's not my fault. Uh, we're trying to do some stuff here. Listen, we're trying to have some you know fun with it. What, what's up, Josh? I, I'm claiming all the prizes that are unclaimed. claiming all the prizes that are unclaimed? Yes. Then it's you have, like, so contest. many TN, TNA like DVDs said, right now. I know. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Snitsky's running this contest. Hey, Ch Chachi's having a contest <laughs> for uh, TNA DVDs because I don't want over on Chachi um, says dot net. <laughs> no, we'll do it right here. I don't want them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually, yeah. Well, what the, the WWE Heroes number one was kind of our grand prize for uh, for the Baltimore Comic Con. I'm sitting there telling people how bad it was. <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't know if like, WWE knows what they're doing with comic books. And we, we talked about that on here before. <laughs> and I was like, but sign up if you want a copy of it um, for our mailing list. I, you know, we have a mailing list over at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, go sign up for that and you can tell everything going on. Any contests are going to be on there. So go check that out. Uh, we do a weekly newsletter. And maybe if we have any announcements or anything, we'll put that out too in your email box. Uh, and we'll, we're on Facebook. Yeah. And we're on Facebook. We'll put it in your box. We'll oh. put it in your box. Hey, guys, what do we start the show off with? Emails! Emails, fan interactions. Email. Actually, we've got some tweets to respond to. Oh, no, Ooh. wait, no, this is an email. This is an email with a question. It says, from AJ, 
Who will be the person to turn heel on Chachi? My money is on Riz. Respond. Go. Yes. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> we had another one. I, I'm uh, sorry. There was just that. That was the response to that. That, that. I heard. You know, I heard Hot Wheels and Riz were in the chat room while we we're ending the awesome cast, uh, conspiring to start their own Google Hangout without us during they the were. During they were during the show instead of so listening you, to the Riz, show. Riz agreed oh, too. Sucker. What the hell? No, no, they what were going to listen hell? to the show, but they since they weren't so going to be gonna on do, the show, they're going to do a Google Hangout. To so discuss can, the so they show. Discuss the so show they can cyberly while the show's going other. on yeah. and have their cyber sex. Okay, yes. hey, that's good. That's a great way to, to interact. Um, <laughs> Isn't Hot Wheels having cyber sex? Hey. <laughs> I know what I'll be thinking about later. Oh. Not yeah. Uh, we had another response, <laughs> actually, from WJ... <laughs> WJ, that was actually he was actually uh, uh, submitting for the contest. Uh, he says eight minutes in, Matt Hardy is a tool, Jeff Hardy is a demon, and TNA is pure evil. <laughs> demon Hardy. Okay, so now we know what people thought. This is the kind of short. This is kind of short stuff that I want to hear. Right. Let us know what you thought. And a, th- a quick thing, also Papa underscore C underscore Los on uh, Twitter uh, at the Mayhem Show. Myself, Mad Mike, LB, Wrestle Fan, Chachi, and Riz. Uh, I want to have all your babies. Yes. I'm all for it. I think everybody's down happen. with that. I think everybody's Nobody cool wants that. to have my Wait, baby. Wait, can I go first? <laughs> but, I, I just don't want to go after all of you guys. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. all right, moving on. Uh, Mad Mike. <laughs> but, I, no, no, you what? can't go first. God damn it, again, I called dibs. No. I rented a uterus specifically for this event. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Listen. Lunchbox, I will give Rented you... Rented a uterus. How much was the uterus? Rented uterus. How much was the uterus? Well, I don't know. Say it again. How much was the uterus? Uh, $250. I will give you $750. Oh, <laughs> deal. What the hell are we bidding on? Deal of that. The uterus. I wanted to go used. first. Wow. L- Lunchbox, wow. I'll give you I didn't half know, a Twizzler for that I didn't uterus. know Poppy, <laughs> Papa Silos' uterus was such high-value market. Um, no, I know. I, I just. I don't know what's going on. I, I, it's a uterus for me to use to carry the baby. I just don't oh, want. I just don't want to go last. Like a like, like, a, like a hearse. Back. Like a hearse. <laughs> yeah, it was, okay. it's like a hearse. Okay, but like yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have sloppy fifths or fourths <laughs> that's or lot, thirds. That's a lot of twitters that went into that. Yeah, there was some more going on with that. Okay, uh, we got uh, two emails. <laughs> Unemployed. Long. <laughs> Unemployed jobber wants to know if there's an option to buy on that uterus. <laughs> yeah, is this a rent? To, is this a rent to own plan on that uterus, yeah. LB? It's a lease. It's a year lease. Um, okay, okay. Can you buy so, it after that? Can I what? Buy it? I, I probably. I don't think they're going to want it back. I think I'm going to do a lot of damage to it. To be <laughs> Didn't honest. you get it at Aaron's? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it at Aaron's? Aaron's? No, fuck yeah. no. No, rent a center. Ugh. Oh no no no! They fuck you over. Hulk Hogan sold you that uterus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it's All right, really... moving on. We got some emails. We got some emails. Uh, Matt and Mike, uh, you, you can hear a little bit from him over on the uh, on the WMS Gold, but he has an email. He has a lot to say in his absence. Uh, Matt and Mike, man. Greetings, Mayhemers. It's that guy who is in the meeting, but will take time out of his day to give all the asses a beating. It's Matt Goddamn Mike. Um... I think he's talking about his new job. First off, I want to wish everyone Aww. luck in the fantasy draft this weekend because stepping on Chachi will be destroying all of you. Uh, secondly, I want credit from the Mayhem universe. He is the man's. Uh, as being the man to name the team of Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne as Air Boom. I said it immediately after they won the belts on Google Hangout and then again on Twitter. So bow down to me, bitches. I give him nothing. You give a... You I give, give him you nothing! Give, you give Mad Mike no quarter. No quarter! <laughs> <laughs> I even have nickel. Nothing! What's that word from Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. Parlay? Parlay. Parlay. Yeah, parlay. Parlay. Par- parlay? Parlay. <sighs> Thirdly, it's time for this week's top ten list from Mad <laughs> Mike. And since the brand split means it's in essence over, what brand split seems in essence over? I'm going to run down the top ten memories I have from the brand split. No, okay, wait, I don't you, think it before is. Before you start this, yeah, can I just point out that lists and emails are played out? Can we that just was, stop doing top that's whatever so, lists? That's so Mayhem Show 75. Can we hey, unless it's so? a top two no, list. Like bullshit. Mine was. I was doing top ten <laughs> list in high school on the blog. I did a top on, two at list. At lunchtime. 
You no. were actually you were yeah. yeah yeah. So I mean it's played out. Stop it. it is, yeah. Stop yeah. it. Before there was even blogs. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still gonna read it. Stop uh, it. Ten. No. Stop. Triple H being traded. This email is canceled. I want to say it. No, I can't cancel this email. This email is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I said canceled. All right, number ten. Triple H being traded to Raw for Booker T and the Dullies, or what I like to call the TNA package. Number nine. Creation of the SmackDown Tag Team Championships uh, gave us some of the best matches of the past ten years. Eight. Breaking up with the breaking up the Dudleys. Remember Reverend Devon and Hardcore Bubba Ray? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brock, Le- you know, hey, you know, I gotta say, both Devon and uh, Bubba have way better runs in TNA than they ever did solo in WWE. True. You can't deny that. You can't deny that. Um, number seven, Bro- Brock Lesnar signing exclusively with Stephanie McMahon right before he won the WWE Championship. Uh, six, the Billy and Chuck wedding. Just an amazing segment. Uh, the li- number five, the elimination chamber was initially a raw only concept. Four draft days where GMs actually drafted superstars. Yeah, that computer is so stupid. Uh, three, Eric Bischoff cross promoting raw and SmackDown with ads. <laughs> Triple H being awarded the, uh, world heavyweight championship and won the entire Steph Eric feud as they really made the brand seem separate and important and actually competed with each other. I do have to hand them to that. Like there was a lot of competition and it it was more so than like what we got out of bragging rights 2 years ago, you know? Yeah. So uh, any thoughts? Any thoughts? Any nope. thoughts? Any thoughts? No. I have a thought. I have a thought. What's no, you that? Don't. I have to I do. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, Chachi, I have to. Dis- I was doing some thinking during that email, and I have to disagree with you about lists. Uh, Cracked dot com is one of the greatest websites ever. Okay, and it's nothing but lists. No, sir, I disagree. Lists are over. We're done. Moving on. Well, this list you're is telling, done. You're so telling me that Cracked dot com is not an incredible website. I don't think I've ever been to that website, sir. I gotta oh, say, I've never God. been there. Uh, you have no room website. to talk, so it's I incredible. Should. We're talking about like this is like the magazine site, right? Or sort of. Uh, it's it's one of those. It's like TVTropes.com. It's a it's a time sink. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh wow, you didn't. What? Oh what? shit. What? Riz said, "Thank God I didn't do a list." <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't actually read his email yet. He, do, he does and have, and, and he does have some quick thoughts, real quick, as he closes yeah. it out. Uh, Kurt Angle being aligned with Jeff Jarrett now makes absolutely no sense. Oh, there he goes again. Uh, unless it ends with a three-way with Karen. Okay. Whoa. Maybe that's what they're going with. Maybe this is the chasing a- Amy of wrestling feuds, okay? <laughs> TNA- <laughs> it's gotta be, uh, uh, it's gotta make money somehow, and if mm-hmm. it's gonna be porn... TNA, well. baby! TNA they means... Made, they already made a token porn, but we'll get... They already wrestling. made a token porn, but we'll get into that later. T... I hope not. TNA needs to feature Aries more. Wrestling Jersey, uh, Jersey Shore analogy. Mr. McMahon is to Snooki as Vince McMahon is to Nicole... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, WWE has booked three matches already for Night of Champions. <laughs> it's still three weeks away. Hey. What? Riz said TNA, run the train. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh, uh, Riz and I are on the same page. That's tonight. good. That's good. I don't even know. That's, that's, that's the build up your confidence before the inevitable heel turn. Uh, I don't know what the TNA's championship match at No Surrender is. <laughs> Marvel should sue TNA for that logo. Uh, what for the new logo? I don't or know. Or for no surrender? I, I, I don't know. I think for the no surrender logo. Okay. It's some American thing. I don't know. Uh, oh, what? Uh, hmm. I think Nash already blew out his quads on the way he was walking. Uh, dissolving the brand split, I think, will ultimately lead to a unification match at WrestleMania. <laughs> TNA has gone back to saying it will be a f- four way between the top guys at no surrender. WWE 12's. <laughs> Create an arena looks awesome. That's the video game. Uh, if he didn't catch it, they changed the name. Uh, Samoa Joe taking out half of the TNA roster is a stupid idea since he doesn't even end up in the final four. Uh, I really like Face Samus. Samus. Seamus. <laughs> Samus. <laughs> Samus. Who's Metroid. playing Metroid? Hey, nice to see Huniko cool. as Sankara. He looked much better in the ring, oh, and Alberto was officially been lost in the shuffle for right now. Well, Del Rio? That's not true. Del Rio? I, he's but, the champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He, he, he's saying that because he wasn't on Raw this week, but the reason he wasn't on Raw he's this week is Mexico. because he's, he's in Mexico getting his working visa papers together. That's understandable. That's the first time the WWE champion has any needing his, his uh, working <laughs> visa together. I, I don't think that's 
That's I don't, well, not to, not together. I that think w- it needs to be renewed. Yeah, but the WWE title should be like a marriage, and you should automatically get a green card. Yes, <laughs> I'm the champion. What's his wrong? Yep. I'm the champion. That's worse. Uh, well, it's time. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. Have a good show. White Alchemist ending transmission. So, and we'll be getting a few more emails from him as Mad Mike may be departing the show. Uh, much like Steve Jobs stepping down, Mad Mike is gonna step down from being mad and simply be Mike. All right, moving on to the Riz Mail, Mr. Chachi, if that is your real name. Oh, let me turn your mic back on. You son of a You were on bitch. a call. It was your wife. <laughs> oh, big twist. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Apparently someone's parked in your parking pad. It's a switcheroo. What are you calling you for? To find out who was in the studio. Oh, okay. You're like, I am, bitch. Uh, first, I'll address ill nades. Yes, we got the email. We'll get that out to you. Excellent. WMS! <laughs> now we're going to blow out your eardrums. Since the last time we spoke, it seems that John Tenta has gained a partner in the newly formed Natural Disasters. Enter your Hurricane Helms jokes here. Uh, Off to a bad start, there is. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have new tag champions after the team of that guy who's banging Jennifer Hudson and I'm so cool I can just wear a jet black hat backwards. Mick Gilla Hennig. Yeah. What the hell? That's right. The ebony and ivory of the WWE High Flyers are together, <laughs> and it looks like they're going to have a great run with the tag titles until ultimately Evan Bourne does the unthinkable, turns on Kofi, dyes his hair blonde, and joins forces with Dolph Ziggler to become the Double Dolphs. What the hell? Get it? Because Evan Bourne and Dolph Ziggler look, you know, you know what? Fuck you. That was funny. Until next time, <laughs> fuck you. That was fucking funny. Riz. <laughs> that, was that was good. That was and good. And Avery. Actually, their entrance music. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, well, according to this, we have nothing for the indie minute, so let's move on. Hey. 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 Well, done. hey well, you didn't use the dock. All right. How am I supposed to have a heads up? I can't use the dock. Fuck dog. you, indie wrestling. Fuck you, Josh. running away. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Uh, <laughs> wrestle fan. What's going on? What's going on? In What's, the going, What's going on? What's going on in the first, Indies? The first... Motherfucker in the Indies. I'm working on the theme. I'm sorry. Okay, then. <laughs> Keep working. Uh, first note I want to make. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt <laughs> you again. But uh, no, no, Chachi is not West Indian. <laughs> Just, what? I don't <laughs> know. Indian? This guy in the chat room. I got to put West that out there. Indian? I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. Okay, well, the first note I want to make is that um, if you like DVDs and you like sales on DVDs, well, boy, I got something for you. Go to ROHwrestling.com. Um, they have DVD combo packages now on sale, which I'm actually thinking of getting one of these. Um, they range, I think, from like 25 to – some of them are – I think one is $35, but it's from their two like top shows this past uh, half of year, half of the year. Uh, you can, uh, you know, saves you about five, ten bucks um, for buying the two, uh, you know, the two DVDs separately. If you want to go uh, order those, go to rhtrust.com. Uh, go uh, check them out. The second note I want to make is uh, from Chikara Wrestling. This past weekend was their Young Lions Cup tournament, which um, was originally a two night event. Uh, you, well, the funny thing, usually they. Usually the long, uh, Young Lions Cup every year is a three Oh, God. Oh, my God. Sorry. What was that? Holy that shit, was... dude. I don't know. I think Natalie Del Conte, or not Natalie. Yeah, yes. Natalie Del Conte was trying to interrupt me, but okay. A little bit. Um, I was, I was trying to hold song. on and not come, and then that surprised me, and I came all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. Wow. Um, but... Uh, Young Lions Cup is originally a three-night event. This year, they uh, were originally going to do it as a two-night event, but because of the um, Hurricane Hurricane Irene, they cut it to a one-night super show um, uh, tournament. Um, and with a bunch of uh, other great matches as well, uh, the winner, Tadasuki from Osaka Pro, um, winning the Young Lions Cup by defeating Green Ant in the finals. Um, he is the new Young Lions Cup champion, and, which means he'll, you know, uh, um, obviously from the soccer pro in Japan, he'll be obviously coming to Chikara a lot more. 
uh, since he does have the Young Lions Cup. Um, so that uh, the DVD should be coming out soon for that event if you want to go uh, check it out. Uh, there were a bunch of friends of the show uh, in that uh, event. Johnny Gargano, uh, uh, Gregory Iron competed in the tournament, as well as uh, many others. Go check them out, uh, ChikaraPro.com. And the final note I want to make is uh, for our friends at IWCWrestling.com. Uh, they announced, uh, well, one, the uh, Cage Fury DVD is now on sale. You can go get that at IWCWrestling.com to see the return of friend of the show, gel- delicious Jimmy DeMarco, to IWC. Um, the next event is uh, No Excuses 10, which is their 10, uh, 10-year anniversary. Um, so that's definitely going to be a big event for them. Uh, two matches announced so far. Fans bring the rep, uh, fans bring the weapons. Uh, special guest ref, ref from IWC's past. Um, Shima Zion and Jimmy Navarco teaming up to take on Bubba the Bulldog and a member of the Founding Fathers, the referee to be named soon. Uh, and then IWC World Title match, John McChesney versus Ray Rowe. Fans pick the stipulation. Ooh-hoo. So that's going to be... Oh, and also uh, Dalton Castle uh, going one-on-one with Justin Idol. Nice. Um, go check them out, uh, IWCWrestling.com, and get your tickets for that. Also, they announced a new event, um, Night of the Superstars, which will be November 19th in... How do I pronounce this city? Meadville. Sorg? It's Meadville, you asshole. <laughs> Meadville. <laughs> Meadville. Is that Me- said, Me- Me- Advil? I said Meadville. Advil. Okay, Me- whatever. Maid- Meadville? Uh, Meadville. 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 The Meadville, PA, you fuck. At the Meadville... <laughs> er- <laughs> I'm sorry, the- I'm from the area. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> you remember those notebooks, Mead notebooks? That's how you pronounce yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, at the Meadville Area High School in Meadville, PA. <laughs> um, Saturday, November 19, 2011. One match to announce that's kind of uh, interesting... Uh, women's action, Tracy Brooks versus Gail Kim. Woo! Who, um, yeah, very exciting match. Uh, two former TNA knockouts, you know, but uh, kind of weird since Gail Kim's still under WWE contract. That last we know of, but we know she was pretty unhappy with it, so yeah, we'll see what but, happens there. Yeah, but, uh, man, so I kinda, we'll see how it happens with that. Kind of hope they uh, don't, I kind of hope I'm not shooting this event because, uh, whew, Gail Kim. Mm. Yes, Ooh, yeah. indeed. Go to IWCWrestling.com and get your tickets for that. And also, um, the uh, another uh, big announcement was I, IWC. Um, I forgot what the show title was. It's uh, it's on it's on. I don't uh, see it on here. I don't know what you're talking about. I, uh, IWC has a new recap show. Okay, you can go check uh, check out. I'm like, oh, I, it's called IWC Aftershock. Where, um, where is this? It's not on their website. YouTube IWC Aftershock. What? Uh, with with uh, host Justin Plummer. Who? Um, he'll, I, He's I Justin Plummer, man. Wrestle fan, listen, How have you, you know watched this, this thing, or is it something you just found and uh, didn't watch? I have watched it, and it is a real thing. <laughs> All right. I mean, because I know they used to have with wrestlers, and you, they re- they're uh, talking about the no excuses oh, card. Is. Plumber. So, I mean, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Uh, this is on. Wait, I, I don't know about this. This is on Plumber Loves You on Twitter. I'm sorry, on YouTube. It, 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 this is really, really questionable. I don't know but who is but doing he's this. In the back and he's I think this is people, so. this is a this is a leak or are you, oh that guy. Hey, who did this? Who's I don't know. Goodness? I guess Justin Plummer. This is what is going on here. He's Justin Plummer, know. man. Someone is uh, creeping in on your territory. Something is happening. You better, here. Uh, man. It's, Get that shit on looks, lockdown. Yeah. Somebody it needs a tripod. Legitimate. They have clips from Kate's Fury. They got you know. I think this is some underground Dalton shit Castle right here. And, this was happening. Uh, this is some names, some so, yeah. underground IWC action right here going on. I don't know, go check that out. It's that Plumber Loves You on YouTube. What the fuck? I have no idea. Go check it out. Hey, they're doing some good stuff. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, uh, IWC has been doing... You don't know that. I, 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 you w- do not know that they're doing some good stuff. I, this, okay, this is the... Okay, maybe in the... I don't know. I can't speak for the last month. I haven't been around. But then Oh, I thought you were still talking about the YouTube channel. No, okay. no. We're talking about IWC. Well, you said the YouTube I'm channel. I'm trying to transition then... here, Chachi. No transition. Stop stepping on me! 
<laughs> <laughs> no, they're doing some stuff. Check out their Facebook and their Twitter. They're actually kind of like going out and asking fans questions and stuff, especially go with all this fan stipulation and, and bring the weapon stuff. Uh, so follow IWC Wrestling again on Twitter and Facebook. They're doing some pretty cool stuff. All right. What's going on? What do people need to know about AON and what's happening there, sir? Well, the big news this week, this week, was that AON announced they're going to have two television shows now. There's a lot of television going on in the local Two wrestling. television shows. Okay. One is going to be the AON Rundown, of course, which okay. they show every week on ABC 23. Oh, they got a nice little graphic going on here for it, too. Yeah, they got they got new new graphics this week. They got new a <laughs> uh, new intro. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff after War for Territory took place. And they just, like, spiced everything up pretty much. Um, okay. and the new show is going to show like old W or old AON matches that, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I think. Okay. Um, and this, what happened at, is this is locally for Johnstown, right? Yeah. This is, this is going to be on Fox eight out of Johnstown do, and ABC 23 out of Altoona. Do they typically have their shows online though? Yeah. Sometimes they put them online. They, they have, what they're doing now is an AON podcast they put online. Okay, cool. Cool. This uh, is I can what give it, you the link. Is this what it. I'm seeing on the, well, I have the YouTube page up. Yeah. I think that's the, the podcast okay. that you have there. So, so if somebody's not in the area and want to check out what AON's going, what? doing, they can definitely go through the, uh, the YouTube. Yeah. I think it's, uh, Vermilion PT zero. I think it is the YouTube account. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Actually, okay. That we're looking yeah, it's at. It's sad that I know that. <laughs> That's such um, an unfortunate name. All right, yeah. anyways. Um, the Battle Royal, I said about this last week, Manchild and the X-Men were the last two people left in the Battle Royal. What I didn't know was how X-Men won the Battle Royal. X-Men? X-Men, yeah. He's, he's one of the announcers, actually. Uh, somebody tossed him a ba- his bag from ringside. He pulled out a candy bar. Threw it over the top rope, and Manchild dove over the top rope, eliminating himself from the Battle Royal. <laughs> Shit. Is that the minute? That is the minute. That is the minute, and this is the first half of the That's Mayhem the show. Let's that take is it. the ending minute. Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying it's multiple That's, minutes. I'm turning I, him I down. At the end. <laughs> I'm turning him down. Uh, <laughs> hey, let's take a little peek at what's going on with the Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold app that you can buy. And here's a little peek. And we'll be right back. And we're going to remember when. Hey. I'm retweeting. I'm retweeting this. Are you private messaging this guy to make him? No, oh, it's all in the uh, chat room. And Turkish people just look like regular people. What the hell? <laughs> she's out 200 miles from home. Classes start tomorrow. And then she says, but you don't have to leave the cell if you don't want to. <laughs> hey, something like that. Oh like, like he sounds like he's jerking it. Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and it's time for a little segment we call "Remember When." This week, uh, I want to talk about uh, the moment that got me into wrestling. It's not when I started watching wrestling; it's the moment that really pulled me into wrestling, and it was on the Barber Shop. Brutus the Barber Beefcake used to have a show, like kind of like Piper's Pit. Or uh, for the newer people to wrestling, the uh, Jericho's Highlight Reel or Christian's Peep Show uh, called The Barber Shop. Um, and the Rockers were a hot tag team back in the day, back in the 80s or 90s. I think it was 90s. Uh, the, the breakup of the Rockers hurt me deeply, but it was one of the coolest moments in my life. <laughs> Shawn Michaels shoving Marty Jannetty through a window, or not shoving him through, uh, giving him sweet chin music through a plate glass window, which probably was candy or something like that, uh, was one of the coolest moments because HBK was born, the heartbreak kid, and it, it was just one of my favorite moments of all time in wrestling, and that's what I remember, and it's on the screen right now. Yay! Skip, skip ahead to see him do it. Oh, you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All the lead up. We don't want the lead up. We want to see Marty Jannetty's career ending. <laughs> he Jannetty him. On. Hold on. Yes, and, this is and now every video. tag team. All right, is we got the hands the raised. We got the hands raised. Yeah, they're buddies. They're buddies. And pow. 
There you Three, go. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom. Nice. Just there kick you them go. through. They yeah, shoved them through then. All right, yeah, we can't play anymore or else WWE is going to take us down. Okay. <laughs> so let's remember when. Hey. Put them in their copy, right? And we want to make a mention right now for a uh, new, uh, well, an old affiliate, but we're going to actually do some stuff with them. Uh, Audible. 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 Uh, it's a, it, it, you know, do you like reading? No. Let's be serious. Obviously, Russell fan doesn't. He hates the animal farm. But anyways, uh, <laughs> but, but farm, since he had you. such a rough time with the movie and doesn't want to read the book, maybe maybe <laughs> the Russell fan should go see Animal Farms on Audible. Uh, Audible, you know, one of the largest online providers of digital audio books and stuff. They got a pretty cool app when you buy stuff from there uh, for your iPhone and Android devices. That's what I use. I listen to a lot of stuff on my commute. It's really good for that. Um, I do wish they had a lot more wrestling stuff on there. They don't, but there's a lot of stuff that I think a lot of you guys will be interested in. Um, you can sign up now for 14 day trial for the gold membership. It's 1495 a month afterwards. You can get one free book a month or one book a month with that plan, but you can get one free book, no risk. You keep the book, even if you cancel this after the free trial. And we like to give you a little bit of a, uh, well, there's animal farm. If they have it on there. We haven't checked. Uh, but LB, uh, you've been reading, you read things. I have. I uh, I do love my audiobooks, and uh, I would like to recommend to our listeners out there, um, I, not for WrestleFan, um, because if he doesn't want to take the time to read a 100-page book, uh, it's this a book, movies and politics class. I have to watch the up. movie. Anyways, Shut anyways. Shut it. Shut it. It's recommendation time. That's right. This is like <laughs> the definition of, uh, uh, you know, getting your money's worth this book is i don't know 46 45 hours long something like that it's a huge fantasy epic it's called the name of the wind by patrick rothfuss um is a absolutely tremendous book charming characters interesting storyline and uh it i mean most fantasy novels stretch out uh, across seven, eight, nine novels. This one feels like three novels uh, in one. So I recommend it to anybody out there. Uh, it is uh, The Name of the Wind, The King Killer Chronicles, Day One by Patrick Rothfuss. And I can't recommend it enough. And I want to point out for you guys that really do want to get your bang for the buck, it is a regular price, thirty one forty nine for this book. And, yep. uh, and the length is 27 hours and 58 minutes. They, if you want to get a it's book, it's equal that's forty some. Jeez, <laughs> if you want a good chance of that, and and this is a great, well, you said a great fantasy novel, right? I oh, mean, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I, I go on that recommendation. I know, I, I know, LB's got some really fine taste as far as his fantasy fiction goes. Oh, uh, I think you. So he will not let you down. Um, <laughs> so go check that out. Or and actually, I was looking up here. I think they did have it. Uh, for WrestleFan. Hey, WrestleFan, you can try this out. Maybe you'll dig some audio books. But they definitely <laughs> have several versions of Animal Farm. Uh, we got by George Orwell, uh, narrated by Ralph Cosham. You can actually pick and see what you like here, WrestleFan. And, and you can check the narrators and see how they sound. See if you can, you're not going to fall Blackstone asleep with this guy. I did! The other uh, guy. Uh, I'm just saying, you should give it a shot. Look, there's a third version! And there's other weird spin-offs. I wanted as read by Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, this is uh, you have. Here's a. Uh, wait, that's not. That, that's or, not. But all Morgan Freeman. looks like they're all the same thing. Uh, I don't. Simon Ka- Kalal? No, that's just the guy, not the guy I'm thinking. <laughs> I thought it was Simon Cowell. Uh, all the animals were awful. Well, wrestle fan, that's the chance for you to experience your animal farm the way it was meant to be experienced. So go sign that up. Uh, um, AudiblePodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. For your free audio book, go to it, check it out. Just do the free thing. Just do the free thing. Support the mayhem, especially you, Wrestle fan. Especially you. So let's get yes. into some news. Uh, the big news this week. I, I know the article was going around. Let's start with that. Did you guys hear about Ric Flair and his yes. life, basically? Um, <sighs> so, so Ric Flair. Um, uh, Ric Flair. Ric Flair. There was an article about Ric Flair. In uh in Grantland and now uh, the guy that's been doing the wrestling articles on Grantland he's been featured on IWantWrestling.com a few weeks ago. There's a great interview with him if you want to go check that out. Um, but there was uh an article he put up and let, let me see if I'm bringing it up. Basically detailing his financial and health problems over the years. 
Uh, did you guys you guys had a chance to read this? I I, I skimmed it because uh, I, I I didn't it's know long. Like, it's what... long as fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh, the uh, I I did know the I did see like, the main points of the article about you know Rick, I forgot what it was. Uh, Rick Flair was uh, is diagnosed with like al- uh, some alcohol syndrome or. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it really does detail about like how he's been he's had trouble with uh, taxes and financials and and being sued and, and, and debt since uh, it looks like it since late 80s, early 90s and how everything's kind of just, you know, is is reaching a boiling point with him, which, you know, and that was I had a lot of conversations at the Baltimore Comic Con a couple weeks ago when we had a booth down there. And a lot of people were asking about him, and I was like, well, that guy's basically wrestling to pay off his debts. That guy cannot <laughs> stop wrestling. He owes al- alimony to three different people, you know. Right. I mean, three different people, three different women, you know, three different ex-wives, you know. I mean, that's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, guys. I, you know, you, you talk about there's a guy that, like, lived the, the lifestyle, and you see how it caught up with him, you know. Yep. And not like it did for everybody else, you know. But um, Absolutely, I mean... So, but you know, to the point where he's and I don't seem to have the link here uh, that he's looking to sue them for the for the claim about the uh, I, I think the disease, the alcohol disease that they were claiming on there. Well, uh, why not? <laughs> and there was a, a a a mention that it was for the you know to pay off some more of his debt. So yeah, way to way to, way to prove them wrong, Ric Flair. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Exactly. Uh, other, other, uh, you know, damaging of our childhood, um, our, our childhood uh, uh, heroes. Hulk Hogan, his family's going to be the subject of porn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really? I don't know. I don't know if I'm excited. How is or... that going to work? Who? I mean, who isn't really? I mean, they're doing porn parodies for anything that's even mildly successful. Yeah. Personally, I can't wait for uh, this. Ain't the wrestling mayhem show triple X porn parody. Oh my god! That's um, going to be fantastic. Pass. I think that was. Uh, yeah. I think that was Wrestling Mayhem Show episode sixty nine. Hello, whoa, hey, whoa! I, don't worry about that. <laughs> that was the theme song. That for was. It. That might have yeah. been something started playing. But do you? Uh, did, did the article have the synopsis of like the the story for the porn? Because I found it hilarious. All right. Did you? What was it? I I forgot what it was, but it's like each. It's it's uh someone plays Hogan, uh Linda, uh Brooke and Nick, and I think they each have like their separate uh like thing. Uh like one of the things was that uh uh Nick or er, Linda McMahon sleeps with like Nick Hogan's uh uh school friend that he brought home. Mm-hmm. Um, so and it's like a bunch it's a bunch of different like so it's like four different uh porn I was wrapped in one sort of. Okay, I just did a really quick search, uh, look, seeing if I could find that synopsis for official Hogan Knows Best parody. Uh, and it's on uh, Torrance already. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, in a uh, quote, in a pants weddingly funny parody, Hulk Hogan has a lot more on his hands than just his wife and kids. Follow the nation's favorite wrestling hero as his super tan reality TV family as they heat up their Florida mansion with moves you won't see in the ring. Wow. After downing a bucket of steroids and Viagra, the Hulkster calls a hooker to calm him down, giving new meaning to the chokehold and pile driver. So it's based on a real story. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, Brooke Hogan catches hell for wearing a slutty shirt, which doesn't seem to bother her boyfriend Bill, and Nick entertains Brooke's horny uh, friend Lexi, leaving his nerdy pal Link to get it on with Linda. With his sex grades family all living under one roof, you want to make sure you've got a ringside seat. <laughs> well, you and, know something mean, Jenna. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and you know, you know, I, and this is where we announce our uh, our new spinoff show for the Russell Mayhem Show. Russell fan reads the porn uh, <laughs> description. Uh, yeah, yeah, the porn minute. The porn-y, we need sexy the music. Minute, the sexy that. minute. The sexy minute. Yeah, yeah. So, porn wrestling, what else would, you know, else would go to... Go it goes to together. Great picture, too, that they have on the ground. First thing you see, a bloody Ric Flair and a bloody Hulk Hogan. Oh, <laughs> I God. mean, two men in their 50s and 60s or whatever that are still doing this. Crimson yeah. girls. I cr- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh man, what else is going on out there? Um, hey, did you know Bret Hart? Who who Bret Hart's a fan of? Oh my god. Oh, I lost it. I lost the link. Oh shit. Bret Hart's uh, favorite. Well, he he's apparently a fan of the Bellas and John Cena. The John the John Cena one doesn't surprise John me. Cena, it's the no. Bellas one. Yeah, the Bellas were just so random. I mean, it says here, according to ProWrestling.net, uh, he says <laughs> they're they're getting better and better. So she's, he says of the Bella Twins, I like Daniel Bryan. I love his style. I love his incorporation of actual wrestling holds and submissions in his style. I'm a big hey, fan of, how about that? Big fan of John Cena. Big fan of Randy Orton. Uh, this is on uh, CardboardConnection.com. He also um, said his favorite match of all time was uh, Molina versus Alicia Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. look, man, if you're familiar with Bret Hart's taste in women, the Bellas are right up his alley. <laughs> yeah, he is He is divorced, isn't he? I mean, uh, he's probably looking. Yep. He's looking. He's apparently looking for a threesome. So, <laughs> hey, uh, the friend of the show, uh, Eric Young, I was talking about meteorologists here before the show with Chachi uh, over dinner. And, uh, and Eric Young apparently is taking a, a crack at it. Um, let me see if I can bring this video up. Apparently, he <laughs> invaded the WHNT, uh, meteorology, uh, whatever you call it, in Huntsville, Alabama. <laughs> and, uh, let me see if I can bring the video up here. Uh, oh, shit. There we go. And there he is. He just walks in on sets. <laughs> well, for audio listeners. All right. Looks like we have some clearing sky. Getting a little bit of help here with the weather. So he's interrupting, and then eventually in this, he actually gives the guy an airplane spin on the set. There he goes for your video, guys. Wow. So uh, Eric Young's having a lot of fun with his TV championship. So and at least it's not Scott Baio. Right, Chach? <laughs> that? At least it's not Scott Bale. Did you just like zone out? Are you all right over there? Yeah. I'm yeah. Good. You good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Hey, Chachi, Scott Bale. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too for bringing him up. Oh How no. Did you bring him up? <laughs> yes, you did. No, it's our game. You, you said his name. Sorry. If you say hey, three times, he will appear before Chachi. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> So say it way before I did. <laughs> Shows how much he was paying attention. Fox got Anyways, all right, what's going on in the world? We talk. There was Raw. There's a hey, Super Week. Smackdown. Is Smackdown over? Is it? Yeah, done? it's over. Uh, now you're watching the background, Bobby. Anything interesting happen? Um, Sin Cara turned heel. Oh my god. Yeah, he kicked Daniel Bryan in the head. Ah. Oh no. Well, that's yeah. Something. Daniel Bryan's gonna bury him. And, and there was, I had it on mute, so I didn't get anything out of the CM Punk and Triple H contract signing, but CM Punk was sitting the same way he always does. I'm, I'm told there was a signings. contract, or I was told there was a thing at uh, Nash nailed Punk and then Nash shoved Triple H. Yeah, and I missed the uh, championship match. Can you tell me why? I, I have loaded up, just loaded up WWE.com. It has absolutely nothing about tonight's SmackDown that already really? occurred a lot. Now, I see Super SmackDown results. Where? Where do you see? Yeah, start? right. On, it can, on it's first, front, first on the on the front page. My site's not loading. Apparently, Super SmackDown tonight, the second dot. Did you open the Japanese yeah, site? No, it says. <laughs> Hold on. I was gonna say, did you open the Japanese site by, by mistake? Because no, I did that. I'm today. telling you, I'm looking at this. I'm at WWE.com. On the third frame, it says tonight's uh the t tonight's thing. Well, go Tonight, to the first frame. I the first frame's edge. The Super So era begins in shame. Okay, and, and what's Justin. the second frame? What? Why are we doing tech support on my web browser? Obviously, it's I don't wrong. Know. Okay, the I first and the second one are the, I don't the, know the what's SmackDown going on. things. Yeah, nothing. Nothing is showing. Wow, well, anything. yours is fucked up. Nothing is showing anything new for. Okay, this is just me. Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, your computer's stupid. Uh, uh thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Pat. sorry, computer. Um, <laughs> NXT rookies who matter. So I mean, you know, we, uh, it was. A little oh bit yeah, that's the other thing tonight. Apparently, there's an NXT rookie reunion. Oh boy, is that how they're doing their super? Well, show no, now? it's it's gonna be like Daniel Bryan and Wade Barrett and Alex Riley and uh, 
Okay. The two okay. the two bitches. That's a, I, mean, I shouldn't say bitches because so, I like AJ. I mean, it was alluded to. Like, is 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 the the uh, brand split officially over at this point with what they're doing? Or I, heard that, just, I heard that as a rumor. Is, is I mean, is this just them easing it together? Are we going to see it? Because I mean, a lot of WrestleMania seems either set, oddly set in stone with Daniel Bryan and Rock and John Cena. Although we don't know if Cena will have the belt by then, but it's kind of you kind yeah. of expect it at this point. Well, I mean, all I have to say is that they do like try to eventually uh, just make it one roster. Thank God. Yeah, I'm tired of it. Well, the yeah, well, even as I think, I think AJ put brought this up last night. What if they, uh, if they do one roster across both shows, then your top guys are the only ones you're going to see, and less of them. Mm-hmm. Or, or are they going to still split storylines? Is it still going to be like they're both the same shows? with the same people, but we're still not, you're still going to only see Evan Bourne on one show a week. Yeah. I mean, is that what you think it's going to be? It doesn't, it doesn't mean it'll always be the same show. Yeah. It doesn't mean like he'll always be on raw. He'll do like a match on raw and then maybe like a match on like SmackDown. Like it just, you know, it's whatever. And maybe that, that'll give him a chance to do something bigger with uh superstars. Okay. Okay. So like superstars will be, but superstars is already already the place where the people that aren't getting on the main shows uh get a little bit of a chance to flourish. Yeah. So I mean, there's not really much difference there. Well, from what I hear, it's not it's not the brand split. Mm-hmm. It's SmackDown guys will be on peer, appearing on Raw every once in a while to continue storylines that are going on on SmackDown. So they're going to be breaking it they're up. Not, it's not okay. going to... Not, it's not... They're you breaking know, down all the Raw storylines are on Raw yeah. and all the SmackDown storylines are on SmackDown. They're going to maybe do some stuff on Raw, do some stuff on SmackDown. So kind of like... Know? It's been happening here and there where, hey, look who just popped up. John Morrison's on SmackDown for no particular reason. You think we're yeah. just going to see yeah, more which, of it? That, that is really good because it's... I mean, it stops us from getting the same matches every single week. Okay. Okay. Especially so, on SmackDown, where they have no one. Okay. Te- I mean, if you look at the roster, really, they don't really have a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know, we've seen Sin Cara. I, we've seen Sin Cara and Daniel Ryan a couple times. Exactly. You know? Exactly. It, it does get mixed up, and it, it, it needs to get mixed up. And SmackDown, while they have a lot more wrestling and stuff like that, it uh, it, it definitely. Get, can get a little long winded. I mean, we you know what well, we saw like Dolph Ziggler and Kofi Kingston for a while. Got really bored with it, you know, because yeah, they were the only mid card guys on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, that were like worth anything. They um, could have two Sin Caras, one for each show. <laughs> Everybody oh, gets a Sin Cara. You get a Sin Cara. <laughs> this podcast gets a somebody's Sin Cara. getting a Sin Cara. I want wrestling gets a Sin Cara. Between the ropes, get a Sin Cara. I, I don't TNA want a Sin Cara. TNA gets a Sin Cara, but they have to call him suicide. Um. For no no sangriento, sangriento, or sangria, or what, what tequila, or whatever the hell they call them. Uh, I don't sarsaparilla. Know. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> they call them sarsaparilla because that makes sense with anything they're doing down there. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So, why is the taste? <laughs> <laughs> thanks chachi thanks um in, in here yeah the unemployed jobber says maybe that will kill the rehashes on the opposite programs like we're talking about um you know i, 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 I could maybe switch your <laughs> um but yeah i it's definitely you need to do something different they've been doing really good with with punk and, and that's the other thing what, are you guys happy with how they've transitioned now from punk and cena yeah, I think so. Nope. I mean, does it make sense to you? What, what's your problem with it, Chachi? Um, CM Punk is having a wrestling match with Triple H at Night of Champions. Okay. That's my problem with it. Okay. Why is that okay. a problem? Would, would you rather have it be Kevin Nash? No. I'd rather have CM Punk wrestle someone that's relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H is relevant. No. Tri- no. I, I, no. I, I, Triple I, I H is in a... I think they could have a good match. I think there's a chance they could have a really good match. Yeah, yeah, I've given a lot. I mean, this is the thing. You're going to watch it now, and you're going to be like, are they going to squash him? Is this going to be over for Punk? So now you're going to watch it for that, or are you just expecting that? I don't think I, I might not him. watch it. Okay. I don't want to watch Triple H wrestle. I'm sorry. But it, well, well, but yeah. still, a lot of people do. A lot of people are still like, when's Triple H coming back for real? You know? He's not. I mean, he, he is. He's not going to gonna... come back full time. No, I, 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 don't, I see no problem with Triple H getting in the ring. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
What about you, LB? What do you think about Triple H uh, wrestling CM Punk when you get your headphones on? Hey, tri- hey there, Triple LB. Triple LB. Welcome back. Triple LB. What do you think about Triple H versus uh, CM Punk, sir? I'm interested to see how this is going to shake out. Fuck, I just cut my foot. Um, <laughs> with a knife. Uh, no, I, I think it's very interesting. Uh, I don't know where they're going to go with it, but it's going to be good. Yes. So I'm the only one. That's fine. I'm used to it. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's been it's been fun <laughs> a fun build up and uh and people they're gonna get that little bit of a triple H buzz from the people that are all about it. Trust me, I ran into these people. These I had two ladies at the booth talking about the rock like he was a god amongst men. And the, the, these are the people that they're they're talking to, you know, I mean I mean they they're all people that are gonna buy this for Triple H. He was a Scorpion King. <laughs> So maybe he is. Yeah. What? A god amongst men. What? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What? I don't know. Bobby just went uh, went went into business for himself. Um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> At this point in time, I'm more interested in the undercard mm-hmm. than I am. Well, what are you interested in? What's what's uh getting you? Right now? Uh, Dolph. Dolph. And Kofi. <laughs> okay, those are the things I want to see. The tag team, the tag yeah. team seems more rejuvenated. Even though we did have the weird uh, Jerry Lawler. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, what was that? Did that seem out of nowhere? Really? They, why are they doing more with them without the belts than they ever did with the belts? At this, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's we, that's just weird. We need to get to know them. And that's the only way that to do it is to shove them I, in I our face. I just really feel like we're gonna have a Jennifer Hudson run in on Jerry Lawler or something. Oh, Jennifer! I mean, that, that, just seems, that just seems to be where we're going, you know. I'd watch that. <laughs> no, I didn't say threesome, LB. Um, Jennifer Hudson can run in on me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. well, actually, not really. That's kind of gross. <laughs> wow. I'm um, not sure what just happened. No, oh, me an- neither. It, it brought the what do you got, Bobby? Another thing that happened on SmackDown tonight, they had a really cool promo with uh, uh, Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston talking about the tag teams in the past and how they want to bring that back. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I was I was very happy with that promo, and they they are officially Air Boom. That's their official name. That seems so. man. No, see, you can't say that. You can't say that's their official name until they combine their theme musics. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's Until true, they Dave. come out to one theme music, that's... they're not official. And, s- and sadly, they're not going to have Pyro. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's yeah, the one thing that? last night, because we didn't get Pyro. forgot <laughs> <laughs> about me. Yeah, the yeah. best part was his reaction to it. Mm. He's like, oh, that's okay. I'm a happy Jamaican. <laughs> At least they didn't name Kofi and Cream. That would have been, oh, been much wow. better. Oh, That's man. what somebody said somewhere. <laughs> Ebony and not, Ivory, not like Riz said. Um, yeah, Riz said Ebony and Ivory. Yeah, you know, there's, your theme music is just made for you at that point. <laughs> you are black. I am white. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not right. No. That's not right at all. That is not sure it is. right. That's fucking Saturday Night Live reference right there, man. That is okay. not right. <laughs> Excellent. Anything else from Raw uh, sticking out to you guys? Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Why the fuck is Kevin Nash still here? <laughs> and what is what is up with his shirt? Click. Well, what, was there a stain on his shirt? Click. Well, okay, that was the, that was the weird thing. They did like a thing about it on WWE.com. Click. Apparently, that's the shirt. That shirt's the same shirt that he wore when he uh, power bombed Eric Bischoff through the stage of that one yeah. WCW show. Remember when him and Scott Hall first came in and like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Really? That. Really? The exact same shirt? Like he has a Yeah, the shirt. exact same shirt. He obviously shirt. hasn't washed it since. That's why it has a stain, yeah. That's why it has a spaghetti stain on the shoulder. Okay, <laughs> I, wait, I gotta see if I can bring a picture of this thing. That's the other thing. Did it cool. did anyone notice that it looked like Kevin Ash like got mustard on his arm? On his arm? Yeah, there was like a it spot was up of by yellow. His neck. There's this like some smear of yellow something on his arm. He hit it may up. have been his tattoo, I don't know, but it just looked like he uh, accidentally like got mustard on his arm. He hit up the, I got a the, mustard tattoo. No, what happened was he hit up the catering, and 
Oh wow! He got pastra- do, pastrami yeah. on himself. Yeah, it he is. got he got mustard on <laughs> what him. What is up with this? Why? What is with that shirt? <laughs> yeah, but the- I got that up. It's him. It's him. That that is completely the shirt he wore. He was supposed to come out to the ring sooner, but someone had to go fetch him from the catering. Okay, first of and... all, it's not the same shirt. There's obviously gray lines, and it's not yellow on here. Whatever! The so then, well, then why would WWE.com the put the That's picture? That's just, because WWE.com's stretching, because they're web monkeys in a wrestling company, and they have been driven mad by Joey <laughs> Styles. And His new gimmick is the, the Hamburglar. Rubble, <laughs> 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 rubble. <laughs> so I mean I you know and really you know I was like oh Nash is coming back that's that could be kind of cool but the more and more I'm seeing him I really he feels aged on the mic next to CM Punk doesn't he's he doing, at least he's doing something interesting he's doing something interesting but just when's the last time really, he did something no and this no effect I mean come on but I mean when was the last time he did something interesting when he was in TNA PWO a resolution a few weeks ago um it, it, you know, no, it, it just seems like he can't keep up with CM Punk. It, it, he can't. He's like that old guy. No one yeah. can. Old guy that gets no flustered because the new guy's got him, you know? I mean, that's... I don't, he I used don't the term about. short order cook. <laughs> When's the last time you've heard that? Next, he's going to ask him to fetch his pocketbook from the Davenport. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I've heard it because I work in a ca- I, I run a cafe, so... <laughs> You know, ah, uh, network fellas. Sorry for anybody trying to get into the gag- Google Gaggle Hangout. Gaggle Hangout. At least you didn't call it the anal hangout. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. seriously. Kevin Nash went from a company where he had to do literally nothing. <laughs> to, to what's he doing now? To showing up in a company that actually makes their employees work well. <laughs> and... And it's still questionable. How much are they going to make him do? Hopefully well, nothing. At the very least, they're going to make him dye his hair. Yeah. They already did that. Yeah. Um, yep. Seriously, Gotta keep up with the, needs, the, the, the dark hair. He needs to fucking go. <laughs> and put him I, I, don't, I don't think he'll be long Maybe I'll put him on commentary uh, and replace Booker T. Oh, that would be much better. Oh, no, no, don't replace him, Booker T. No, okay, now Booker you're you're a Booker T, T on the mic. You're a Booker T supporter, Bobby. Why are you a Booker T supporter? I kind of love my Because Cara got a new move set. <laughs> <laughs> he put on some pounds. He put on some pounds. That's good, because then people are going to move around so much. That, that's the reason. I like uh, it. No, get rid of Sin Cara. I got that sink car. Get rid of Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> There's two sink cars. It's going to be very difficult to get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. yeah. No. Seriously. No. Keep Booker T. Get Kevin Nash the fuck out of town. You're the one that said get rid of Booker T like a week ago. I do. I do kind of. Yes. Like, I don't really understand what they're going to do with this Booker T thing. I mean, that's going to be interesting. Listen. What? Uh, what? It, wait! What Booker T? What thing? Booker T thing? Wait! Did I say Booker T? I meant Kevin Nash. <laughs> okay. I'm like, so what? confused. I'm sorry. I'm super tired. <laughs> no, see, crazy. If I have to pick between Kevin Nash, who can't use a microphone, and Booker T, who can't use the English language, I'm gonna pick Booker T. I really, cause if you compare it that way, I would have picked Kevin Nash. Well, no, yeah, uh, Booker we're... T is more entertaining. What if they bring in Scott Bayo? I will fucking destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> I will destroy you. He met Scott Hall. He met Scott Hall, Tashi. Yeah, I met okay. Scott Hall. Yeah. Met Scott Hall. I'm tired also. I, I will flood <laughs> your house. It might have happened before in the past. Oh, no. No. There will there will have never been a flood like that. Yeah, hey, we got unemployed driver says next to nothing. Uh, oh, so that's something else. Booker T is the John Madden of the WWE. Football. What you gotta do is win the match. You gotta lay the man down and hook the leg, and then one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, Kevin it still, it still sounds wrestling. like Bill Cosby. Yeah, that, that's yes. still you throw up. <laughs> but listen, no, there's a, a fine line between Bill Cosby and John Madden. Because John Madden, John Madden got a little more gruff in his voice, and then the doodle low, <laughs> you talk about the Bill Cosby, and the a bit smoother, and the Joe Pudding. Ah. <laughs> I'm just glad you did it again. Picture pages. <laughs> Picture pages. 
<laughs> wow. Oh my god. I, so, oh, no. suck my dick. Uh, Scott, no, suck know. my dick. You, <laughs> and also you, and also you, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> With the pudding pops and the zow. <laughs> I'm about to do a what did you learn from Bill Cosby this week, but uh let's go let's move on to the other thing. Uh so so tell me, uh what what did you learn from wrestling this week, Mr. LB? I learned that any mask wrestler is interchangeable with another one. Let's see if this is working. Riz, Riz, do we have you? Do we have you on the on the hangout? I don't know. I don't hear him. I don't think He's we have. Dead. Do you know. have us? We oh, have you. Hey, we have Fuck you, Riz. We have no. Riz off. Oh. Hey, Riz. Yeah, a, I can't hear you. You can't hear us. So I have to use the. Okay, uh, so in a minute when you get this, what'd you learn from the, wrestling? Uh, Justin TV thing here. <laughs> What'd you learn for wrestling? <laughs> well, it's gonna be really awkward. Uh, really. I learned that. <laughs> when you're uh, fuck, what the fuck, what did I learn? <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Uh, I learned that. <laughs> That Ebony and Ivory would be a great song to come out to. <laughs> so <good. laughs> Thanks a lot, Riz. <laughs> we'll try to fix the Google chat here. Bobby, what'd you learn from wrestling? I learned that chocolate can be used as, as an effective weapon in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man, child. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. All right, little fan, what'd you learn? Well, I learned, uh, well, Bob, Bobby, you, um, you know, AON has a lot of death and murder and stuff like yes. that. You're, this is not. It's not going to be the only wrestling company with death and murder because it's going to be Sting versus Hulk Hogan and Bound for Glory, <laughs> and somebody's going to die in that ring. Oh, only man. it won't be <laughs> a storyline or an angle. <laughs> exactly, Chachi. What'd you it learn from wrestling? Real. Fuck you, Kevin Nash. It will be the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Sorg, uh, I Sorg, learned. Sorg, yes. What did you learn from wrestling? I this learned week? that just about every <laughs> every member of the Click has questionable choices in their shirt wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kevin Nash with a spaghetti stained T-shirt that apparently semi matches the one that he used when he did the NWO start thing. Uh, between that and Shawn Michaels' girly shirts, and uh, and there you go. There you go. And basically click, Xbox and Xbox. Click. Xbox and click. The click. When I learned it's acceptable click. to fake puke. No, oh, yeah. fake. What I think AJ was pointing out, that reached uh uh Family Guy epic. Family epicness. Guy epic epic uh overextendedness for what he did there. <laughs> he, pu- he, puked it. he puked out the ring. He put he puked on I think Justin Roberts. On he puked shoes. on Triple H's shoe. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> All right. Uh, from the chat room, Click. Hot Wheels learn CM Punk is great on picking on Nash's knees. Um, <laughs> Click. Uh, employee Jobber learned that Nash kept his shirt from the Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him earlier talking about that. His heart attack of pinfall. He just painted it different. <laughs> he just painted it different. <laughs> I think it was a thingy. I don't know. Hello. All right, guys. That was great. Hey, Bobby. Click. Thanks for joining us. No problem. From Flood Town over there. Uh, LB, Russell fan. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Google chat. Uh, Click. Anyways. Um, hey, guys, you can check us out. WrestlingMayhemShow.com is where you find more about what we're doing. Uh, you can also uh, contact us against Twitter's at Mayhem Show. We have lots of other Twitters going on here. Uh, Soratron, the Russell fan, Bobby FJ Town, DJ Launchbox, Chachi says. <laughs> That's got guy. Uh, you can also <laughs> drop us a line at <laughs> no good times at wrestlingmayhemshow dot or four one two two zero six WMS zero nine six seven zero. Please comment and rate us on iTunes and all the other places you can find us. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, just, all right, dude. Yeah, you can't reach us there. Yourself. Oh, and please, please click on the, the ads on the website so we can play for Chachi's uh, Chachi's medical bills because he keeps hurting himself. It seems. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for everybody joining us. Thanks for an awesome chat tonight, all of you guys. You've been great. And uh, and yeah, uh, mayhem out. <laughs> oh. Oh.
Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the